All right, let's talk about peaceful coexistence. Now, peaceful coexistence is the policy of competition without war, avoiding war, but being able to still compete with one another. This is the policy of peace between nations of widely different political systems and ideologies. So for example, you've got the United States of America, a democratic capitalist country compared to the Soviet Union, a communist country that is practicing socialism um, with one political party in charge. They're very, very different going on right through there. However, these two are under the belief of peaceful coexistence. These two ide or these two countries should be able to work together. They can compete with one another, try to better one another, but they're going to avoid war. Now, this is going to be brought forth during Khrushchev's era of de-Stalinization. Okay, so Khrushchev's thaw, where he's trying to get rid of this uh, real tension and the iron fist kind of rule of Stalin, he is going to implement the theory of peaceful coexistence. And this is historically going to be between communist and non-communist nations. Now, this isn't always the case it's going to be. However, for the vast majority of histor or history, uh, peaceful coexistence has to do with communist and non-communist countries, particularly the United States and the USSR. Now, we can see here in this cartoon, um, kind of symbolizing what peaceful coexistence is. We've got the steamroller right there, making progress, going down the way. You've got the United States, you've got the Soviet Union, you've got France, you've got communist China, Great Britain. Um, you've got all these different countries that really have different ideologies that should not be together, working together to go destroy um, that tyranny and the bad things the world has to offer. So competition without, for, without war, peace, between nations uh, with different ideologies. Questions, comments, put it below. Otherwise, good luck.